so now we will talk about the json model so in this step we will create a json model and um, i will show you how you can call and how you can set the value and how you can call that value in the uh, page so that is the reason first you have to call that um, json model so that is inside the scp then obviously ui that is the model then json you can see that is a json model and this json model is already here so additional additionally you don't need to add here so now you can see that um, there is a already one function so as per that previous video um, the how this function is calling because like uh, when someone press on the button then actually it's got that um, function basically this event or this function call after pressing the button but we have to loot the data in the beginning of the when the page will loot so it doesn't mean that when someone press the button then it will load it's not like that so basically that is the reason when the page load then we have to set the model so they that's why we have to uh, call the i n i t so basically that is the function so this function will call when the page will load so um that is the function in this function that is actually coming automatically but we don't need this we also remove this basically this fine because everything we are doing correct so here so first of all we have to um call a variable so variable o data so here recipient name like okay so now you can see that um, in the uh, in the uh, one it event when the page load actually this variable will initialize so here how it will work so if we put like console dot log we say that loading so that you can see that it will come here and it will load the page and here we want to see actually that what is look like about that variable console dot log then u data so so now if we just refresh here and press f5 f12 so now you can see that page is loading i mean that it come to this um function and it is then it's print this after that it is also like there is a recipient one model on that model actually there is a property that is the work um, so it's look good so now what we have to do we have to um, call uh, we don't know we don't need this okay so now we will call a variable dot model 
new JSON model Kudata. So what we did, um, we call this JSON model and after that we will just um, assign we will we just pass that variable inside this model so now we got the model and after that we have to assign just this dot get view dot set set model o model so we just set the view i mean that here we first call the model and after that we create a property data and we just set this model in this view and this is close we don't need anything and that is the separate uh, function so we can keep as it is so now we can like um it's good no need actually it is if i refresh it will call here and it will load this but after that our objective is that um from index app.xml so earlier there is a button but we will also add an input box so input uh, value so our objective is that we have to uh, we have to because this data is already assigned to that model so we want to call this value this and after that name so now if we put that and name so now you can see that actually it is coming here and after that it's just taking that name but if you refresh it will like um it is just a uh it's showing the value but uh, before that actually let me because actually that is the whole it's like um uh, 50 percent so now it will be good okay so that value actually it is coming from here but actually it is not coming from that model so that is the reason we have to use that curly bracket here so now you can see that still it is not uh, showing so what we have to do let's check that view so r e c i p i e n t recipient and then actually that is the name it just a uh, name is look good and udata recipient word okay so here it is uh, r e c i just if we copy here recipient name so if we refresh okay let's check is there any error there is no error so here uh, what we have to do so if we go to the description Mm, like okay, it's description 
like hello it's been okay so the description is coming but in the same way if we put here and we put the um bello update velo live update to so it's still not appearing so let's check what happened so here actually input velo recipient name description so if we go to the controller so in that controller it is a json model mm, json model new json model actually then it is passing that udata so udata also it's it should be here okay so new json model we call here then actually we get view set model o model that is also fine if we come here then we can put the input value okay so actually it should start with this okay so the problem was that it actually it is coming from that model so it if it is um if data is coming from that model that it should start with that um, brackets and we also put the live update true so now actually what happened if we um ui5 so hello ui5 so what is happened so here actually uh, i have created a model in that model actually it is uh, i have provided the value like this value is just a word and here i set that value and i also assign this in the view but here actually when it will first start actually it will load the data the value is from the recipient and description is also the name and after that actually this will update just based on that input so so that is the that is the way actually how you can um, use a json model but in the later video i will connect with the um, real model then you can understand more detail thank you